What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we've got Ringo Q from Demon Slayer today. Uh, the flame pillar. So, uh, we got him with his hands on top of his sword. The hilt of his sword. And he's got his cape kind of flow, flowing and stuff. So, right, I'm wide page. And I'm just gonna start in the top half of the page. Find your middle, so I'm just above halfway just here so the top of his head is up here his chin probably in the middle and then we're gonna start just here with his right eyelid so we're gonna curve a line as usual you're probably noticing a pattern with these drawings by now curving a line how do you draw anything put all the lines in the right place the end <laughs> It's easy. <laughs> no, it's not. It's hard. I know it's hard. So, this then, we're going to curve it up again to this pointy end that he has on the end of his eyelids. And then, of course, we got to thicken this up a bit. So, we're going to thicken up this eyelid line of his. So, we're going to go around again. And it gets kind of narrower down on this end. That's the kind of shape we're going for for his top eyelid. And then his bottom eyelid is going to come down from that, down around here. So we're gonna curve it. So, and then we're going to go into his tear duct just here. So it's going to go. Like so. And it might be a bit thicker up on this end. So his iris then inside there. Just a curve line coming around. Like so. And his pupil. So his, pu his pupil is actually white. So, like so. And then he's got like a, this bullseye thing going on. So he's got another circle coming around that eye. that okay so we can go over and do the other eye so it starts about here so we're closer than eye distance so that's the thing to remember the eyes in demon slayer are bigger than is proportional so we're just slightly closer than the width of his eye we're just here so we're going to curve this up over to the spike and we're going to bring it back down and make it just a bit thicker down like so then the bottom of it comes down here curve it across and into that tear duct, just there. And I think the tear ducts are actually drawn in and this guy, that's a first. <laughs> and then we just can make this a little bit thicker here. And then again, we'll do a semicircle, so we'll do his iris semicircle just in here, curve it around, curved underneath his eyelid there, and then his pupil is kind of in the middle there. Just 
looks like so. And then we do that other sort of bullseye circle around that. I think this iris is off this pupil, so we gotta fix that. Sorry about that. That drive me nuts. He looked a bit cross-eyed there. Okay, we'll try that again. <laughs> so, just in here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so his eyebrow then. So starting just above his tear duct, just about here. So we're gonna go diagonal across this way. So he's real big eyebrows, this guy, right? See the line there like that. And then we've two big spiky sections on the end. Kind of looks like a fish's tail. And then this comes down, gets narrower as we come down towards the point at the end, just there. And then he's got an eyelid line coming down underneath. And this comes out the other side over here as well. And he's got some sort of lines just around the edge of his eye as well, down the bottom. And then the other eyebrow, same thing, comes up and over, up to there. And then this comes up to that sort of fish's tail that's up here, like so. And then we add some of those eyelid lines. So just coming down inside here and maybe one coming out this side. I'm just gonna bring this eyebrow a bit closer now just to his eye on this side. And of course they're dark black inside. His nose, so we have a line just coming down here pretty close to his eye here, comes in comes down a bit, like so. And then comes back in and down. And then we have a nostril over this side and a shadow line on this side. It comes out and down into here. So in there, you'd have a darker skin tone or just shade it gray if you're just leaving it as a pencil drawing. And then his mouth, so, so then it's kind of like a V in the middle, just here. So it comes up like so, first. And then this comes up to the edge and there's kind of this, these bumps just on the end, just there like that. Kind of underneath the eye, just in there. And you pretty much do the same thing on the other side. And you add a little sort of bump line. It's like a gap in his mouth or something. And then a line just for his bottom lip, just underneath there. And this kind of looks like a bit of a shadow section as well. So it's like a triangle just down here. Right, so his chin, just here. So now you can check your proportions. The nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin. Boom, about there at the bottom of his nose, where his nostrils is. And his bottom lip line will be halfway between the nose and the chin. So if you wanna check all that before moving on, you can. Or if you're confident enough, let's keep going. His jaw is gonna come up the side, just there. And it's gonna come up the side of his face, up to like, we'll stop here and then we'll join it to his hair. So it kind of keeps going to hair, but we'll stop it until 
we move on to the hair part. So the other side's the same. Don't worry, it's not exactly the same. But we'll just curve it up. Throughout here, like so. And then his hairline. So we have a center V just in here in the middle and the rest of this hair spikes in and spikes out from that. So, spike up to his forehead there, spiking across like so. Something like this. And then we do pretty much the same thing coming across this way. Like so. And he seems to have these two lines coming down in to his forehead. Not sure what they represent. Maybe they're like his temples or something. Right, so he's got like these pieces of hair that come down the side of his head. And then he's got a fringe part that sticks up and then we use the back long pieces of hair. So let's go. We're starting on this side. So we'll bring it down and around to there. in, spike into here, and back out like so, and then we do another spike on top, and around to here. So this then comes up to here, and back up to there. This is pretty much the same on this side. Not exactly the same, but it's pretty much the same. So we'll go here, and down, spiking out, back in, and spike to here, spike back up, go up a bit further, and come down, back up, and in, and the fourth one here, and then this curves up like so. And then, one, two, yeah, there's another spiky section, like here, then like so, down to there, back in, up, and into there. And then we have a spike here, back to there, back up. And this spikes up to there. And I forgot actually one more section just in here, which comes down from the side of his head back to there. And in like so. Right, so this keeps going basically to his fringe that's around his head. So, boom. So, spiking all the way around. So these are short spikes at first, and then they gradually get a bit bigger. So one, two, three, and then a longer one sticking up, and then a real long one sticking up here. And then comes back in. shorter one then and then a bigger one and then this comes in like so down into here and then another one here and this comes down like so and this one comes into the center of his head, into here. And every now and then, because it's Demon Slayer, you could do a thicker line if you wanted. Just 
in certain parts of his hair. It's just the style of the anime. It's the way it's drawn. Sometimes they thicken up the edged lines. Like on his face and stuff as well. I might do that in the end anyway. But you can just thicken up some hairlines if you wanted. Right, so we're going to do this over this side now. So, uh, spiking up and around. Bigger one there. Big spike here. Comes back down. Up, like so, back in to here, and then this spikes up and down and in towards his center of his head, just there. And you can add some thicker lines if you wanted. Heavier line weights, that's what it's called. Of course, I'm mindful that I don't want to make the video too long, so I'll just leave it at that around the back of his head. So we'll start here. So we'll go spiking this way. In like so, spiking up here. Spikes to there. Spiking up, down, and this comes into the center point of his head. And this comes out like so. around this is kind of a longer one this comes out again back in up down out to there and then we go up down and into there and he's got a couple inside here in the middle center of his head So his hair is definitely the defining feature of this guy, so we'll take our time. Probably be a long one, because we've got hands in this as well. Yay, hands. <laughs> and then there might be a couple of hairlines going across his fringe. Like so. So then this, all this hair, comes down real long and goes behind his shoulders. So we do our shoulders first. We might. Yeah, just, and then we'll finish that hair. So his shoulder, so his shoulder comes out here. And then goes down like so, all the way off my page, nearly to there. So this is like a cape, but it kind of flows out. And then the back of it goes off like this way. And then over this side, comes off this way. About there, and it goes off the page this way. And I might have an extra section on top of it there. Right, so there's all details and stuff inside there, but we'll finish the hair first. So here, spike out, spike down. Back in, back down, back in. And now we're going to start the longer portion. So this is going to curve up and down like that. 
back into there, like so. So this is going to come all the way down, nearly to here. So then, so we've like a hairline in there, and then this comes up like so, down to there, back under, down, down, back, always curving, going down like so. And there might be some hairlines in here as well, so like coming down here. Maybe one here. And then, so this is going to curve up and around to a big spike here. Big long one. This comes back down to there. This way. And then another one hooked here. And maybe a small one sticking out here. Right, so we're going to do that over here. So we have a line in here, spiking, small spikes at first, spiking out on the side. This then comes down, and we meet our first big spike. So it goes this way, that way, spiking that way, back in, down, up. Spiking to here, back in, and then out again. This one then comes in, down, and around to there, back down like so, down to there, and back into here. And then there could be like a couple of hair texture lines. Like so. And some of these lines can be thicker if you want. I'll do the opposite side of his cape. Right, so this comes down, this way curves into here. And then this is going to come down like so, down to here, off this way, off the page that way. And then we have another line inside, just here. So that's sitting on his arms. So that's that side of that one. Right, so this one comes down to here and it goes across the top of his hand. And so this comes across the top of his hand and then we bring it up here, down like so down into there, and this goes down off the page that way. And there's an extra fold, because this part's sitting on his hand, so this is like an extra fold line just here. Down like so. Okay, right, so since seeing as how we're here, we'll start his hands and then sort of join it all up to his body right so so his first knuckle starts there and then it comes up towards his chin it actually touches his chin and then comes down like so this is going to come down to his index finger curve around to about there and then he's a fingernail on top So, then this curves down to there, and then his next finger. So this comes down like so, 
curves down around his finger. Underneath. So the hands are super big because they're like fully stretched out. They're like bigger than his face. They're really close to the camera if he was, if you imagine it was like a photo shoot. This comes up like here and then comes into his hand like so and his top knuckle just goes in like this and up into there. I'm gonna course a fingernail again. Just like so and around like that. Right, so we've skin, we got skin for the bottom of his hand, just here where it joins to the next finger, in like so. And then we've two fingers pointing directly down. So these ones are like on top of his sword like that. And then these, his little finger, his ring finger points directly down. So we're gonna bring this down. It can be a bumpy line, it actually sort of helps. So it doesn't have to be a straight line. This curves around the bottom of that finger, back up, and then into there. And then he has a fingernail. Like so. And then this comes in and around for his little finger. So hands are, can be super tricky, especially when they're in weird sort of poses like this. So really take your time with this and map it out and try to follow along as best you can. So look how wide apart the little finger and the index finger are. The index is like right underneath his eyebrow and this little finger is all the way underneath his shoulder. Just there. So the palm of his hand then comes in and it goes into his sleeve. So we'll draw in that now. So this comes up and around and then goes around the top of his hand and back into here. And then there might be some extra kind of knuckle lines just in here. Like so. And right, so the outside of his sleeve, then the white part of his sleeve is just like here. So, and then it comes up to the palm of his hand, which comes across like so. This is like the underneath of his thumb, just in here. And that goes behind his other hand, right? So, all four, fi oh, four fingers are pointing down, so that means the tops of his knuckles are somewhere. <laughs> right, so we're coming out from this finger for his top knuckle, and then we go up around for his middle finger knuckle, just here. Then we go down. Then we bring this up and across. Down again. And then up and across, down again. So there, his top knuckles that are sitting on top of the handle of his sword. So then this is gonna come down for his little finger, down like so. And then his index comes out like this, and then comes down to the bottom of it down there. 
So that's the general shape for all those fingers together. And then the bottoms of those fingers bump around. One there, that's the little finger. The next one bumps around here. The next one again, bumping around to there. And the last one bumps around to here. So that's all those fingers. So now we just have to add the lines for the fingernails and the dividing lines between them. So, so this comes up like so. And we're gonna hit a knuckle about here and then we're gonna change direction slightly up to there. And then this one comes out a little bit here and then bumps up just to there. It can be a bumpy line, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. In fact, it helps if it's not. And then this one goes out a bit more diagonal. So it goes out like so. And then we hit his knuckle here and we go back in. And then some of these lines, of course, are thicker in Demon Slayer style. But that would take way too long. The video would be hours. So I'll just do standards. All right, so his fingernails, just down here. And you could add a knuckle line or two if you wanted coming down. And his thumb sticks out here. So forgive me now if I speed up, but the video is getting too long. So his thumb is just there. If you've gotten this far anyway, you're a legend. <laughs> so that's his thumb on that side, thumb on that side. And right, the we can what we can see of his sword just comes down from his the middle of his little finger there. Straight down there, and then from this line just here. And we've got some lines coming across the handle, like so. And then the palm of his hand on this side curves around joins back up into there. So then, right, so this sleeve joins back up into his shoulder under here, much like this one. So, well, we'll do this one first. So this is going to come down into here, around these fingers underneath. Goes back up and up and into here. And that goes back off this way. So we might have another sort of foreshortened line just here. All right, so all we can see really is his sleeve, okay? Then the line for his torso just comes down here. So we've got some fold lines just coming down, following the shape for his body, coming down here. And then we can see kind of the inside of his cape just here, going that way his Demon Slayer uniform. And then on this side, so we've got the white part of his sleeve first. So that comes out from, just say here, and we go up this way. Goes up like so. It's the cuff of his white shirt, I guess, that's underneath the black part of his sleeve. So this comes out like this. And then the inner line for that follows that down around. Into there. 
and then some more lines so his arms going back into here but we can see crisscross sort of folds coming on his uniform it's foreshortened so it's all we can see is the sort of roundness of his arm. We can't see the length of it. We can't see the full length of his arm. We can just see sort of round lines. So that's the top of his arm going into his shoulder. We have another fold line there. And then this will go up underneath his cape. And then the back of his arm is just here, his tricep. And then this comes down to like where his elbow would be and this comes in but it's all clothing so we've got some fold lines just here and up into there and into here so you could have some more fold lines coming down and around his arm here So, ba -ba like that, and then his body on this side comes down just from here, ba -ba. and we can see just some four lines for the inside of his cape, kind of like here, and maybe another four line just going this way as well, and then his collar so we didn't even do his collar and so we go curve line there curve line coming up here so this is the white part of his collar so it's got another line here and then it comes down like so and then this comes across to there and it has like a broken inside line just in here and a fold line or two so we we could have a line for like the top of his collar just there as well if you want it but it all joins into this black part of his collar anyway so these are just basically fold lines and he's a button golden right here <clears throat> missing gotta be missing something so there might be like flame marks on the edge of his cape just here of course the thick lines you could make some of the lines thicker if you wanted I'm conscious of the video length now so Right, well, but add a couple of flames, right? So, like here. Here's one. There's not a lot. There's like another one maybe here. These are red on his cape. Can't fit them all in. And there's some coming in around the back here. there's loads of these thick lines on this guy but I won't have time to do them all it's unfortunate just adding a shadow under his chin okay I gotta stop because
Okay, stop. 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 I said stop. Can't. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Ringy Cube from Demon Slayer. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.